Now, who knows if this information is correct or not. This is on videocards.com. I will link you to this article. I will also link you to this X post, which is kind of like where they got the information from. But this is really through Seasonic's calculator online as well. So let's dive into what's going on here. But I will read what they are saying here in the first paragraph of this article. It may not be entirely accurate nor based on embargoed information Seasonic might possess. But just in case it does, the Radeon RX 8800XT is claimed by the company to have a TDP of 200 and 20 watts. They also mention here as well that it's kind of strange how it's referred to as TDP rather than TBP, which is AMD's typical terminology, but that's just maybe like they're saying pure speculation on Seasonic's part. Now, if you remember a little while ago, Seasonic previously listed the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 50 series. That was actually in September and uh, it's been uh, removed since. So now according to this table here, or at least to me, it doesn't look like the 8800 XT is that much more impressive overall than the 7800 XT. But of course, we will have to wait until AMD releases the official specs on this video card. And then after that, reviewers will get hold of it and pit it up against, I'm sure, the 7800 XT and see how well it does against that card and other cards. It's going to be interesting. So what are your hopes for this video card? And do you own an AMD video card right now? And if you do, let us know which one you have.